Hello YouTube, this is my Shrade Bolo. I'm doing a voiceover. Great barong design, moderate price. This is going to be some POV, POV, that's point of view chopping, right? So we're going to chop uh, for about a minute of chopping just so you can see it in action. And then we're going to switch to tabletop and I will do a full in-depth review and discussion and show you the sheath. All right, enjoy the video. Good exercise. And this is the blade I was chopping with, the Schrade Bolo. Price around $42. Blade length, 14 inches. The blade steel on this, uh, 3CR13. All right, that's a less expensive stainless steel. Now note the shape of the blade. They call it a Bolo, and it is, uh, but it's barong shaped. Uh, note this, you see this condor barong, you know, a similar famous leaf-shaped blade. But notice they've put the blade at a forward angle to the handle. Uh, the same idea as with a kukuri, all right, it enhances uh, chopping. And as far as the ergonomics, you know, how did it feel? Very comfortable. Uh, lends itself to chopping with a little snap at the end. Uh, yeah, the ergonomics were good. Gives you a good grip, easy to retain. And uh, I, you know, it gave me a, a pleasant, warm sense of power uh, when chopping with this blade. All right, lanyard hole there. I didn't, I didn't need a lanyard on this. You know, this part right here helps you retain it very well. Uh, the handle was comfortable. All right, <laughs> those band-aids are not from this blade. On the same day that I tested this, I actually tested five other blades and I was chopping for several hours. Um, and one of the blades had a much rougher handle, okay, so that's where those came from. But no, this one, very comfortable, right? Just, uh, you know, a cheap but effective rubber overmold handle. Close up of the edge, how did it hold up? Uh, the edge actually held up very well. Now, uh, Blade HQ listed this as a flat grind, well, you know, it's flat until this bevel, and then this whole grind here is just a hollow grind, all right? So it's a partial hollow grind, essentially. See the thickness, fairly thick. The weight on this blade, the weight on this blade is uh, one pound and nine ounces, all right? So it, it does have some good heft to it, a good thing. Now the product description on this says that it has a titanium carbonitride coating on the blade. Now you might look at the blade and say, looks like a satin finish to me. Um, yeah, I was pretty skeptical that it had a coating, so I actually contacted Taylor Brands to double check. And they say that it does. Alright, so it's a clear coat. And um, <laughs> I was still kind of skeptical, so I did more research on titanium carbonitride, and I was actually able to find pictures of drill bits that had like a three micron clear coating of titanium carbonitride, okay? So through that research, I finally was able to convince myself that yes, it does have a coating. You can't see it, you can't detect it, even with wear. Uh, but I do believe it has a 3 micron uh, coating on it, which is done to resist wear and tear. And it's a similar coating that is on some drill bits, all right? So that's a good feature. I mean, I like rust resistance. I like um, it reduces or it absorbs wear and tear, and it also is kind of, uh, it reduces friction, 
Okay, so it'll slice and chop through things better as well. All right, so I'm, I'm down with the coating. Now this is the sheath that it comes with. You see it has a secondary pocket here, Velcro. Comes with some, just as a sharpener. And, I, <laughs> and that's held on, you know, you can remove that pocket with this uh, Velcro strap there. All right, and it has, it does not have a belt loop. This is, it's actually meant to be strapped, uh, you know, you can strap it over your shoulder. I have not tried that, you know, because I'm just using it as a backyard chopper, so I haven't tried running around uh, ninja style, but that'd be funny, but... All right, now, these rivets, well, they look like rivets. They're rivets on this side, but they actually, they're buttons that open there. All right, and that is so that it can accept your blade. Let's try and do this. All right, and then snap them closed. And essentially, that's how it fits in the sheath. It has a button closure retaining strap, but I find that it, that's not really necessary. Uh, just the friction of the sheath alone holds it in securely and it and silently as well. All right, and to deploy the blade, pull out like so. All right, so that's the sheath that you get. All right, so my final thoughts on the Schrade Bolo. Well, it's got some it's got some good points. Uh, price pretty reasonable. The blade shape, time-tested Baron blade shape, that's definitely a positive. The ergonomics and comfort of the handle, that's another positive. Just the sheer weight and heft, um, another good point about the blade. The, the clear coat, another good thing. Uh, really the only thing you could complain about would be that the steel is not the most expensive, prestigious steel out there. But, you know, it's stainless, it'll resist corrosion. Now as far as the sheath, I don't know, I haven't tested the over-the-shoulder carry, so you'll have to decide that for yourself. It does have some very stiff competition from uh, many companies like Condor, as well as uh, even like Kukuri's of the same length. Oh, that's another good thing about this. Putting the blade at an angle to the handle I found that that was, a, that was a good addition. I found it, it increased the strength of the chops and the speed of the chopping. All right, so it has many good points. And overall, I'm glad to see Barong designs getting more popular because it used to be that the Condor Barong was like the only Barong you could get outside of stuff directly from Philippines, okay? So yeah, I am, it's a very good trend. Alright, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for many more. I'm out.